Well, hello everyone. I'm here to get you excited about something sweet, and that thing is marzipan. So, what is marzipan? Marzipan is this sweet thing, of course, but at the same time, in our context, it's UI Kit on Mac OS. Now, at WWDC 2018, Apple kind of stealthily unveiled uh, this project and mentioned that it might be ready for us uh, in 2019, so fingers crossed. But what is it, actually? So it comes in Mojave, of course. And what it basically means for you developers is that you can use your iOS UI kit skills to build macOS apps, which is tremendously cool. Now, Apple have been dog feeding this to themselves for quite a while. So you might have noticed that news, stocks, voice memos, and whole apps feel and look and feel kind of different. And that's because they're Marzipan apps. Now, how does this work under the hood? Well, imagine yourself building a Marzipan app, and you execute it, you run it. Now, it's not just your uh, Marzipan UI kit app that comes into play, but there's two more applications, in fact. One is UI kit system app. I'm not going to go too much in depth about it, because I have approximately 2 minutes and 40 seconds left. But let's imagine it's something like front board services on iOS. But the more interesting one is UI kit host app. So the interesting thing about all this is that when you interact with the Marzipan application, you actually don't interact with it directly. You interact with it via a proxy that is this host application. So Marzipan app actually kind of forwards its view layer, its UI layer, to the host app. And the host app kind of gets all the user interaction events and relays them back to the Marzipan app. Kind of cool. And you can see it here. Uh, here's my HN Reader application. And when I executed it, you can actually see that it's two apps. Uh, one of them has an icon, that's the host app. And one of them doesn't, that's my Marzipan app. Now, UIKit has updates, let's say. Uh, right now, UIKit is just an interface to AI, UIKit core, which is available either in iOS support folder on your Mac or on iOS as well, of course. And now, what happens is that on macOS, it handles the automatic uh, system appearance for you. So it handles colors, it handles resizing of the windows, scroll bars, light and dark mode. It works, I tried. And it provides macOS specific functionality like menu bar controller, window toolbar control, and even touch bar control. Now, how to make this work for yourself? There have been multiple approaches historically for last year, I guess, historically. And the first one, and the second one were Marzipan Hook and Marzipan Platter. Pretty cool things. These people are heroes, but a little outdated right now. The one that I like to use these days is called Marzipanify by Steve Stroughton Smith. And what it does is, well, it does magic. It kind of links, uh, sorry, converts everything to run with the UI kit uh, on macOS, uh, adds entitlements, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Let's not go too much into it, but it does magic and it works. Now, to use Marzipanify, you of course download it, but then you have to disable Mac security, unfortunately, for now. Now, be careful, otherwise this will happen. <laughs> now, the first thing you need to do is boot into recovery mode, disable SIP, disable MFI. This line is my favorite. Like, when I was typing this, it was fun. And you have to whitelist your app so that it can actually run UIKit. Now, prepare your app. I have prepared the simple Hacker News Reader with a split view controller and a web view and the standard libraries like Elm, Fire, Swinject, et cetera, so that I could kind of get a feel for whether it works. And then, voila, you get a Mac app without almost any work. It took me like 15 seconds. And that's it. This will be awesome. I mean, I'm looking forward to this being released officially. And we'll all be making Mac apps. Thank you.